Hey you, you like Minecraft? Of course you do, what kind of question is that? You like the progression of Minecraft? Don't answer that, I'll do it for you. No. Don't you wish there was a way to circumvent the normal progress and get crazy things earlier than you should? Enough questions, let me show you. Okay, I'm not gonna do the whole thing. It's fishing. Look at it. There it is. Fishing! Yep, that's it. Fishing in Minecraft is insanely OP. Now let me show you the top five reasons why. There were actually four reasons, but five looks so much better, don't you think? Number one, food. While you're fishing for really cool stuff, the ocean will give you tons of... Um, actually, what's another cool name for food? Uh, <clears throat> pudding pie. <laughs> where, where was I again? Oh yeah, food. You'll get ridiculous amounts of these t tiny juice balloons. Oh, ew, this is BuzzFeed. Anyway, you get the point. You get lots of fish. Pro tip, leave a campfire near your fishing location so you can immediately cook all your fish while fishing. That's quite a lot of fish, baby. Ooh. Number two, boosts. You can boost the efficiency of your fishing endeavors with enchantments and rain. The enchantments consist of luck of the sea and increases the rate of good loot, which we'll get to in a bit. Lure decreases the time for bites. Mending and unbreaking essentially just increases the durability. Also, if you're fishing in the rain, the wait time is reduced by roughly about 20%, which saves you quite a bit of time if you're fishing. A lot. Number three, experience. You get experience while f fishing. Look, okay, I get it. It's not very exciting, but fishing rods with mending will never ever break. It's just a nice icing to the sweet cake. Mmm, look at that cake. Delectable. Number four, if you are on PC like the absolute monarch I know you are, you can automate the whole process with an auto fish farm. Imagine sleeping while getting game-breaking items that I haven't even mentioned yet. There's a good tutorial by Silent Whisper I'd recommend. In fact, if you just search up auto fish farm on YouTube, you'll, you'll find it. If you're on PC, save yourself the sanity and just do it. But if you are on console, you better enjoy it. Fishing is your new hobby. Ooh. Number five, the loot, baby. Other than the food mentioned earlier, such as cod, salmon, tropical fish, and puffy boys. Uh, little side note here, tropical fish can't be cooked and they only restore one hunger bar. They can be traded to fishy villagers or they can be used as dog food. These ones are kind of useless. If you can't do one of the three things, just chunk them. Or throw them onto like a cactus or into lava. Or, you know, whatever you want. Moving on. You can receive wonderful treasures such as bows, which can be enchanted, enchanted books, which could be enchanted, uh, yeah, fishing rods, which could be enchanted. By the way, all of these could have mending, meaning that you can get mending before the Ender Dragon with fishing. And then the other treasure items, name tags, not shells, and saddles, those are all pretty useful, right? Right? I right, the next section is labeled junk. Me, I call them treasures. Lily pads, bowls, unenchanted fishing rods, leather, leather booties, rotten flesh, sticks, strings, water bottles, bones, ink sacks, and tripwire hooks. Quite the treasure trove here. Pro tip, if there's a severe lack of bamboo in your world, you can find it by fishing in the jungle biome. And if you happen to be playing on bedrock, God's gift to man, <laughs> you can get coca beans there as well. But anyway, go my little buccaneers and break your Minecraft games with early mending. If you would like to watch me break my soul in mini games, come check out my Twitch channel. We would love to have you. We stream silly Minecraft challenges that I fail. Often. Every Monday. What are you still doing here? Go fishing, you wacky bedrock sympathizer.